Hello everyone, welcome to this series on literary theories. And in this video, we are going to discuss Latina or Latino writers in the context of American multiculturalism. Introduction The terms used to describe Spanish speaking people in the United States, such as Latina or Latino, Hispanic, Mexican American, Puerto Rican, New Yorican, and Chicano each carry significant political implications. For the purpose of this discussion, Latina or Latino will be employed to encompass a broad sense of ethnicity among Spanish-speaking individuals in the US. The complexity and diversity of these communities reflect a rich tapestry of cultural influences and histories. Diversity and Influence Latina or Latino populations in the United States come from a wide array of backgrounds, including different origins, nationalities, religions, skin colors, class identifications, and political beliefs. This diversity has profoundly impacted American culture and identity, contributing to the nation's evolving cultural landscape. While there is no single culture that can encapsulate the Latina or Latino experience, the collective influence of these varied backgrounds is undeniable. Mainstream Integration Over time, the characteristics of Latina or Latino cultures have rapidly entered the mainstream of everyday American life. This integration has transformed American literature and American studies into what is now referred to as literatures of the Americas or studies of the Americas. This shift reflects a broader, more inclusive understanding of American identity shaped by the diverse voices of Latina or Latino communities. Political and Cultural Impact In recent years, political parties have increasingly recognized the importance of the Hispanic vote, vigorously courting Latina or Latino communities. This demographic's growing influence is also evident in arts, broadcasting, and entertainment where Latina or Latinos are represented at unprecedented rates. This cultural visibility underscores the significant contributions of Latina or Latino individuals to various facets of American life. Prominent figures Notable figures such as Sandra Cisneros and Robert Rodriguez exemplify the profound impact of Latina or Latino writers and artists. Cisneros, a resident of San Antonio, gained national acclaim with her debut book, The House on Mango Street, 1984, which tells the story of a young girl growing up in a Chicago barrio. Rodriguez, an Austin, Texas resident, has achieved success with award-winning films like El Mariachi and Spy Kids. These creators have paved the way for greater recognition of Latina or Latino voices in literature and film. Historical Context The history of indigenous cultures in the New World is marked by successive conquests by Indian nations and European countries, particularly Spain, Portugal, France, and England, followed by the United States. This complex history gave rise to a mestizo, mixed blood, literary culture that blended colonial and native influences. A pivotal moment occurred in 1848 with the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo, which ended two years of warfare between Mexico and the United States. The treaty resulted in the cession of nearly half of Mexico's territory, including present-day California, New Mexico, and Arizona, and transformed Mexican residents into Mexican-Americans. Borderlands and Identity One of the primary themes of Latina or Latino studies is the concept of borders between nations, cultures, and within cultures. Gloria and Zaldua's Borderlands or La Frontera the new mestiza explores the idea of living between two countries, languages, and cultures. And Zeldua, a lesbian Latina critic, describes this liminal space 
as a challenge to maintain one's shifting and multiple identities and integrity in an alien element. Code switching and liminality, a phenomenon studied by linguists, involves moving back and forth between Spanish and English or using Spanglish in border towns. Linguists observe that code switchers tend to use Spanish for words related to home, family, or church, while institutional terms, especially those relating to authority, are in English. This betweenness or liminality is characteristic of postmodern experience and has special connotations for Latina or Latinos, highlighting their unique cultural position. Cultural mapping. Juan Flores and George Udice describe the cultural landscape of Latinas or Latinos as a living border, a site of continual crossover of languages identities, space, and political boundaries. They argue that the search for an inclusive, multicultural America involves a reimagining and remapping of cultural boundaries. This process of transcreation helps us understand the arbitrariness of borders and the forced separations and inferiorizations they represent. Chicano Movement the Chicano movement of the 1960s and 1970s marked a period of renewed Mexican-American political awareness and artistic production. The movement was accelerated by World War II, which fostered Mexican-American acculturation. Key literary works from this period include Rudolfo Anaya's Bless Me Ultima 1973 which explores the impact of World War II on a small New Mexico community, and Oscar Zeta Acosta's The Revolt of the Cockroach People, 1973. These works reflect the growing prominence of Mexican-American voices in literature. Early Latina Writers Pioneering Latina writers such as Maria Amparo Ruiz de Burton, author of the 1885 the Squatter and the Dawn, and Josefina Nigli, whose 1945 novel, Mexican Village, was the first literary work by a Mexican-American to reach a general American audience, laid the groundwork for subsequent generations of Latina authors. Until the 1970s, male authors predominantly received recognition, but the contributions of early Latina writers are now increasingly acknowledged. Gender and Identity Latino feminism involves redefining both ethnicity and gender roles, addressing the machismo prevalent in Mexican culture and advocating for the liberation of women from abusive and exploitative relationships. Latino writers provide valuable insights into these issues and celebrate the newly heard voices of Mexican-American women. Cultural Archetypes Three cultural archetypes central to Latina identity are La Malinche, La Virgin de Guadalupe, and La Lorna. These figures are being re-examined by contemporary Latina critics. La Malinche, an Aztec woman who became the AD and lover of Hernan Cortes, has traditionally been associated with betrayal, but Latina critics emphasize her role in mothering the mestizo race. La Virgin de Guadalupe, the patron saint of Mexico, symbolizes virtue, self-sacrifice, and humility. La Lorna, a woman from Indian folklore who murdered her children after discovering her husband's infidelity, represents a combination of purity and guilt. These archetypes offer a range of themes and concerns for Latina writers. Conclusion The study of Latina or Latino writers continues to be a vibrant and dynamic field, reflecting the ongoing contributions of these communities to American literature and culture. As Latina and Latino voices become increasingly recognized and celebrated, they enrich our understanding of the diverse and multifaceted nature of American identity. 
So this was the discussion on Latina or Latino writers in the context of American multiculturalism. We will meet in the next video and discuss some other topic. Until then, goodbye and thank you.